If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code Inception when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Thierry Henry to check out. We're taking a look at someone who is six foot two, medium, medium work rates, four star skimmels with a four star weak foot. Controlled player with a right foot. Guys, listen, don't look into this car too much when it comes to the dribbling. It's not the same as last year's game when it comes to that type of stuff. And now, obviously, cards that have higher dribbling stats makes a nice difference. But these physical guys, I don't really mind them too much in regards to how they generally move with their left stick, you know, because they have other variables that kind of helps them out a lot. So we're going to see if that's going to be the case with this Thierry Henry card. Um, honestly... It wouldn't be a bad choice to give him an engine because his shooting is already in a pretty decent area. But like I said, with the dribbling capabilities, if a person feels a certain way, they're going to feel that way anyways a lot of the times, right? Now, obviously, an engine can help out a little bit, especially in his case because of the balance, the agility, and the dribbling. But it's really up to you, right? Because a Hawk himself looks pretty nice for a card like this to boost the physical, considering he's a bigger guy, might make more sense, right? But for now... Let's take a look at stuff that's going to make him very important uh, or it's going to be really important to use for him, right? So scoring play style, performance finesse shots faster with additional curve, improved accuracy. Obviously, finesse shot trait really good there. Uh, he has rapid. OK, so rapid reaches even higher sprint speed while dribbling and has greatly reduced chance of error when sprinting or performing knock ons. So a card like this when running with the ball is going to be kind of saucy to work with, right? So if that step over acceleration is still a thing, he's probably going to be really nuts at doing that. Ball control play style, fancy passes and shots performed with improved accuracy. That's pretty cool. First touch. First touch is a really big trait, okay? Doing a driven pass into these guys and, you know, just controlling the ball right away is crazy. Uh, Trivella, contextuals is great. And then quick step. Quick step's a really big one too. So Thierry Henry is probably going to be an R trigger merchant, to be honest, because quick step is a really big trait too, guys. Really, really big one. In-game attributes, that's what makes me want to improve the shooting and the pace a little bit. You know what I mean, guys? You know what I mean? But um, here's the thing, man. With shooting, it's already in a decent area. So that's where it makes me want to give him that engine. Because look, he controlled lengthy with an architect. Huh. Controlled lengthy with an architect. That's interesting. We have to try out both of those. Yeah, we got to try them both out. Okay, so you know what we'll do? We'll try them on the engine first. And then we'll try them on the controlled lengthy. Because controlled lengthy could be an ideal thing, guys. For that extra pace for the R-Trigger merchants, you know? Just letting you know. Just letting you know. So, we'll try them on with the engine first. To boost the dribbling pace and passing because the shooting... I mean, you got to get into high percentage strikes anyways, but there is a situation where I could potentially give him a hawk anyways if the dribbling feels a certain way. Um, he does have 84 heading accuracy, a little bit of physical stats, so a couple of interesting variables to work with there. So let's go ahead and give him the chemistry style on the engine, and we'll see how he performs in game. We'll just be using him in the striker position, so... is the goalkeeper Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Bubakar Kamara in the center of mid uh, it might make sense to give him an engine is Anthony Masia it might just having those little small intricacies could be ideal well it's the hope of any player to make a bright start with the new club and today is no exception well they've needed something different and he will certainly offer that ah uh, yeah yeah it's the same thing as the Diaby like I mentioned in the video before guys the same thing man cards like this are gonna be they're gonna be our trigger merchants because he's working with two different traits for that to come off the way that it does it's the quick step though man that quick step is crazy like that like just being able to accelerate quickly is gonna be nuts oh nice try nice try I gotta put more power behind it Oh, he's gone. Oh, that's a bad pass. Oh, but he's still fast. Gone. Shot cancel. Beauty. Beauty. Well, they're certainly a team in form. They've got a lot of belief and quality in the 
side, and I'm sure it'll be difficult here, but if they play how they have done... Yeah, he's... Uh, I, I think giving him an engine makes the most sense, guys. I think your general experience is going to be important for him, because... The dribbling stats, guys, in this year's game, like, it's not like previous years where, like, Tyrion Rage is complete trash. Like, it's actually pretty solid. Oh, I just megged him. That was a meg. You guys see that? It's no great surprise who we've picked out to have a look at here. What are we expecting to see from him today, Sue? Yeah, it's his ability on the ball for me. Finesse? Oh, beauty. <laughs> yeah, he's he's going to be good this year. This is this is the first year where this card is actually pretty cool to use. Because the dribbling stats in previous years, it would it would hurt him way too much, man. It was it would be such a trash card. This year this year's game very different for him now. Oh, yeah. It's every single time you hold our trigger, it's that play style. Look, boom, gone. That's insane, guys. I'm telling you. Oh, I still have it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's those those two play styles, guys, being played together. It's crazy. You don't need to. I, I wouldn't boost the shooting, man. I think giving him that dribbling boost is gonna be super super helpful. Oh, I don't think he knew he was gonna do that. Oh yes, please. There aren't many who'd even try that. He's gone. Oh, green on that. Maybe you do need the shooting. <laughs> I guess that's the trade-off though, right? But you know what it is, man? Like, I gotta I gotta see what he's like without the engine. That's gonna be the key. Oh, dude, hold on. He's running like this. Good work to beat the challenge. Wait, wait. He's running like this without controlled lengthy. I didn't think of that yet. Oh no. Patient build up, but not quite the end product. Martial? First time? First time works. First time works. That's the runner behind. Beautiful goal. Yeah, he gets the jam. It's the physical jam. I mistimed that one. That play style is nuts, though, bro. He takes that one touch. He's gone. Very hard to catch up to him. I think that controlled lengthy could be nuts for him. Or you know what? Maybe I, don't, I wouldn't even care about the lengthy. Because if he does that by default, it would be sick to work with that. But to have higher shooting just for the consistency if I don't care about the dribbling being lower. We have to see what's up with that. Yeah, that stuff right there. And then a little skill move to get past the goalkeeper for consistency. And a nice little goal. Varane doesn't have that uh, interceptions play style, so he's not going to like go for a crazy reach in that situation. Oh, the finesse didn't come off with that much power. Yeah, I could use the physical for that too. You see that? That's the thing, man. That's the thing. He makes that run. I could ball roll to get ahead of Varan, and I get the goal scoring opportunity. Beauty. It's just the runs, man. It's just the runs. You got to look for those runs. I got a penalty. Nice. That run, though, again. Uh, the medium, medium, I don't care about it. I don't care about it for him. 
Sorry if I sound uh, nasally. This sickness does not leave me, guys. It's just going to be here forever. It's going to be here forever, bro. It doesn't want to escape me. I don't even know how that worked out, but it did. No idea. We'll take it, though. Okay, guys. So, listen. We know that the difference between um, the chemistry styles right now is going to be between getting a chemistry style like a Hawk to improve the shooting and the physical capabilities, which, to be fair, could be really helpful for him, especially in the strength department, because you definitely notice that. So, a Hawk could definitely be an ideal situation. But I want to give him the architect because I just want to test out the control, the lengthy part of the card. And I want to see what the dribbling is like um, for those sort of attacking opportunities. So I'm just going to go ahead and give him the architect just so I can test out that part of the card. Because if he's an R trigger merchant, then he can just make those runs like crazy. It would be kind of nuts to work with. So let's let's just take a look. Oh, he misses the header. By the way, I was completely lucky because I didn't expect that, but you just take what you get in those situations, right? So. Nice. Little uh, quick L1 touch. Get into the position. Good little goal. Nah, I think an engine might be ideal because I'm noticing like right away that initial movement, I want a better dribbling stat, you know? So an engine might be the most ideal. I just, I want to see like from the least, I guess like the one, the situations that you don't build up the most, right? Like that's the controlled lengthy part I got to see like here, right? No, I need the dribbling. Oh, no first time touch there, eh? I don't know, man. Maybe the engine, you know, could help out with that too a little bit. <laughs> it's tough to say, but. Yeah, I want to start him off. There you go. Great finish. Without a shooting boost. Guys, I don't care too much about the controlled lengthy. I don't care too much about it. The way he just ran right there, like, I'd rather just give him, like, an engine or a hawk. It's going to be one or the other. For me, I think an engine is definitely going to make a lot of sense for, so that you can really utilize those two initial traits. Like, this part, that trait, see? You want to be able to activate that part as fast as possible. And I feel like I was able to use it more. Oh, I should have just finessed it on that engine chemistry style. Oh, yeah, he's way more sluggy. Way more sluggy without it. Got them on the back foot here. There you go. Trying to spark the attack further into life here. Shoot. And that's a great, great shots, to be fair. Starts that run, man. Even though he's a medium medium, guys, a card like this, if you want to force to get him behind instruction out of him, like you could do that. He would be he'd be pretty solid on it. And hey man, why not? Try it out, you know? He's having a quick chuckle to himself. He knows. And unable to retain possession. A chance now maybe to make Ah no, he's uh, guys. Honestly, like for me, for general experience. For general experience, like that's a bad shot to take in general. Uh, but but for general experience, you want to go engine. I, I just feel like your build up as well would be nicer. That initial boost is going to be crazy. Little R1. It's not crazy at them. The dribbling stats, right? Like when I was doing it with Ronaldinho, oh, you guys should see the difference. It's crazy. Okay, guys. So, final verdict on the Thierry Henry card. So, guys, this is without a doubt 
his best year to use this card. It's definitely the best one. It's the best one because of the new play style thing, okay? There's two traits here that is what's going to make you like this card. There, these two traits are going to be the big, th big, 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 huge things, okay? I say two, but there's more than two, to be fair. First of all, it's Rapid, okay? So Rapid is a player who's known to use speed and knock the ball ahead of their opponents and beat them while it's dribbling, right? The gameplay effects is reaches a higher sprint speed while dribbling and has reduced chance of error when sprinting or performing knock-ons. Here's the thing, that play style is working with this and this one, bro, the quick step one, this is the crazy one, dude. It's this one, okay? Accelerates faster during explosive sprint. Those two traits, that's what you're working with, okay, for this card, especially if you're forcing an instruction out of him on that getting behind instruction, a card that has the finesse shot trait, huge plus to work with, Trivella, the first touch. First touch is a really big one, too, because a lot of the times in previous years, if I had a card whose dribbling stats were just horrendous, sometimes their first touch was just not great, but he has the play style as well to make his first touch significantly better if I have to do like a driven pass into him, he just gets the ball right away and he's good to go, right? So I'm telling you guys, this year for Thierry Henry, it's significantly better to use him. Like this card in previous years, I didn't like him at all. Now the whole architect chemistry style system, like I was mentioning for the um, change in uh, the lengthy and all that kind of stuff, you really don't need to use this card in a lengthy, you don't. It's gonna come down to what you want the most. For me, for you to utilize those traits more with this card, boosting his dribbling is going to make him feel more responsive to utilize those traits because it's going to be more for when you have the ball at your feet and even for the off the ball stuff in certain situations, right? Boosting the pace, boosting the pass is going to be an ideal situation for him because he doesn't feel like he needs the lengthy and boosting that dribbling is going to be ideal for your general build up play too. So for me, it's definitely the most usable I've ever felt. Uh, Tier Henry in any version of FIFA, even the work rates to use in the side areas. If you want to do that, you could totally do that too. This card will actually do work in those positions as well. So yeah, definitely his best year ever in any FIFA game. Like the the other versions, they were just I'm sorry. Up until honestly in last year's game, up until Shapeshifters, it's a horrible card to use for the most part, right? Unless you pack the card like super super early. But this card, even later on, because of those traits or those two traits, but all those traits working together significantly better so hopefully you guys enjoy this video today i'll catch you guys for next one peace out dudes love you guys